This is Randonautica, an app that breaks the rules of the universe and brings you to a place determined by your mind, or rather, a word in your mind. You can't blame me for being skeptical, right? When you open the app, you are greeted by a screen that asks you what kind of point you want to generate. You are given three options, anomaly, attractor, and void. The app gives a brief description of what each option does, but it's mostly unhelpful. It says, attractors are dense clusters of random points. Voids are the opposite, anomalies are the strongest out of attractors and voids. So, if you're like me, you decided that it didn't really matter what you chose and you clicked a random one. After choosing one of those three options, you are brought yet another choice and it also makes no sense. You are given the choice between an Anu or temporal point. Again, if you're like me, you chose a random one and hoped for the best. After selecting either Anu or temporal, you are greeted with a message that says, finding a location, focus on your intent. So, while the app generates a random location, your job is to keep your intention in mind. In other words, keep whatever you want to find in mind. Then, the point is generated and the fun begins, or so you would think. What started as a fun adventure ended with a very grisly discovery. Some teens who were using a TikTok app that randomly generates a nearby location to explore got to the location. And as Amber Cogliano reports, they were shocked by what they found. These teens are about to make a gruesome discovery. Guys, we found a suitcase at the beach. <laughs> they were exploring a remote part of a beach in Seattle when they came across the mysterious black luggage. At first, they had no idea what was inside, which is why they could be heard joking around in the video. <laughs> Wait, open it. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. <laughs> Suddenly, as they poked open the suitcase with a stick, the smell became overwhelming, and only then did they realize something sinister might be inside. Okay, so she's calling the police so we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just food. When cops got there, they confirmed the presence of human remains in the trash bag stuffed inside the suitcase. So how did the teens end up here at this specific location where they found the suitcase? They were directed there by a smartphone app called Randonautica. The app has exploded in popularity among young people during the last few months thanks to the COVID-19 lockdown. It's supposed to be a fun new way to explore the world around you by sending you randomly selected geographic coordinates. Joshua Langfelder created the app and says he never expected anyone to find a dead body. The worst things to come from this app is this group of friends actually stumbled upon a suitcase full of human remains. This was later put all over the news, and the police found more suitcases. In total, there was two victims, a boy and a girl. So, is this app really breaking the space-time continuum and bringing you to a place that is related to what you thought of? At a glance, it may seem like that. But let's look at another story. So I just went rando nodding. <laughs> I just went rando nodding, and our intention was death. And we were on our way to the spot, and I look out my window, and there's someone laying in the gutter with their wife literally like on them, holding them. And so I parked and got out, and he got shot. <laughs> and then she gave me that phone and I had to call the cops and Darius was he wrapped his jacket around the wound and then the cops came and we got questioned and I just had to leave and I just dropped Darius This video is very disturbing, but it needs to be taken with a grain of salt because we don't know, like, there's no evidence to it. All we see is her crying and her talking about what happened, but we don't know for sure that that actually happened. 
And it's kind of rude to say that it didn't happen, but this video needs to be taken with a grain of salt. No matter how you slice it. Okay, so the people in this video end up finding this lady on their rando nodding excursion. And they just sit in the car, but there's this lady just sitting off to the side. Well, not sitting, but standing. And she's like staring at them and mouthing something. And her eyes look very like... Void of any life, kind of. And she just looks really creepy and she may be considered a demon. But... This one could also be faked. So far, there's only the first one that we know is not fake because it was all over the news and stuff. So, if you're like me, you shouldn't be convinced. Not at all. Because these stories can be easily faked. Except for the first one because I had news reports and whatever. But, these random not stories could be easily faked. And we should not believe them. I know that I didn't believe them. Not even a little bit. And that's why I took my friends and I went rando nodding. We had to discover the truth. We had to find out if this app was really doing what it was said to do. The sad thing is, is some of my footage got deleted and it was some pretty good stuff. I mean, but it's okay. We filmed more and whatever and I don't know. I guess I just, I don't have as much as I could have had, but that's okay. Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm in a rando person's house. House? <laughs> I meant to say car. I'm in my friend's car. Say hi. hi, Jordan. I'm the one that was the video. Not the video. I'm <laughs> <laughs> See, you make mistakes when you're on video. I'm the one that was in the phone call during the last video. Or a couple of videos ago. Depending on whenever this comes out. Yeah, I don't know. This might come out in like five centuries. But anyway... Today, we are trying out this app called Randonautica, which has some crazy stuff surrounding it. Um, it went viral on TikTok, and let's just say it's kind of creepy. Our intention is cheese, by the way. <laughs> Did you actually already search it up? I guess it doesn't. I guess you just think about it. I don't know. Because huh. it just said, think about it. And then it didn't give me a chance. That's true. It was loading for 5,000 years, so we had to close out the app. Um, maybe it was because we weren't focusing enough, because I have come to the conclusion that when we, when we were actually visualizing the cheese, <laughs> knowing the cheese, not caring about what kind of cheese is, just that it's cheese, then we got a point. Oh my. Then we got a point. So it says to navigate there. That's blurry, you can't see. Focus. Somewhere over there. There we go. So, we're gonna navigate there. 226 radius, okay. Oh, there it is. Navigate. That's in the middle of the wilderness. Ooh. That means we'll have to park somewhere and then walk. Well, the radius is 226, we're assuming that's meters. Yeah. That's not that far. I know, but where would you park over on that road? It's a good question. Let's go find out. Let's go. So, based on where the point is, we just decided to go on foot because... There's no parking spot nearby. Yeah, there's no parking spot nearby, so we're just gonna go on foot. Okay, this is where it has led us. the middle of nowhere. But while we were coming over here, we did find something. Here it is. What'd you say it was? I don't know. The paper says it's something important. Flowmaster resilient wedge gate valve inspection guidelines. No cheese. <laughs> that is the immediate uh, thing we realize is that that is not cheese, nor does it resemble cheese. Nope. It's not even yellow! That's damaged. It's not even attached. Like, did they just trash it here? I don't know. 
How do we relate this back to cheese? <laughs> Maybe the guy that put it here had recently ate cheese or was eating cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nothing dead, nothing alive. I want to pull out this green bag. You should come look at this. There's a green bag down here. Oh, I got it. Oh, that's that's uh, green and black. What does this say? Please remove stretch wrap before installing. How far does this go? It looks like it was tore out of something. Well, we can agree this is not cheese. But it is something interesting. <laughs> this is like some... Did you just smell it? It's a mask. Just kidding. I don't know. Wait. Is that Dairy Queen? Like dairy, as in cheese. <laughs> Dude. Nope, it's Arctic Circle. Oh. Arctic Circle still has ice cream, and ice cream relates to dairy. But it doesn't look like ice cream. Okay, there's nothing living in it. Yeah, but it's not about the actual thing inside. What is inside it, though? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it ripped. <laughs> this is old. Dirt. Oof. Probably some brown drink. Might it's be. all about the brand. And the brand is Arctic Circle. Cheese. <laughs> it's not cheese, but it relates to cheese. Is this what Rando not wanted us to see? <laughs> <laughs> litter. <laughs> litter. Arctic Circle litter. Okay, so our intention was knife and we were brought out here. This honestly looks where, looks at, <laughs> I can't talk. This honestly looks like a place where lions would hide, so, except that there's no lions in Utah. Okay, so we're at the location now. Um, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> this area was deadly though because there's a bunch of um, like snake tunnels or gopher tunnels or vole tunnels, whatever they are, um, along our path. So um, we kept sinking into the ground and it was pretty they deadly. Died. <laughs> I kept sinking in like really far, but. Sadness. <laughs> Knife. That's a knife. So, in conclusion, I'd like to say that Randonautica is nothing more than a hoax. The only reason people find stuff related to their whatever they were thinking of might be because of confirmation bias. But, nevertheless, this app is pretty fun to mess with, so if you get a chance, go ahead and do it, and don't be afraid of it because it's not, it's not real. You might think it's real, and then you might stumble upon stuff that you wouldn't otherwise see, and that's because it's bringing you to random coordinates that you wouldn't otherwise go to, and that's why you would see strange things, and also at the same time, with confirmation bias, you're trying to find something that relates to what you were thinking of, and so you do find it because of the law of attraction. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you like my content as a whole, smash the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.